Hello, this is Providence Art Club Gallery Manager Michael Rose, and this is the awards announcement for the Art Club's Winter Members Exhibition 2021. This show is on view January 25th through February 11th, 2021, and features over 120 pieces in a wide variety of media styles and themes. First, I'd like to start by thanking our awards judge, local artist and printmaker Lois Harada for taking the time to select her favorites in this show to recognize with awards. Lois asked me to pass along her thanks and congratulations to all the artists who participated in this exhibition. Thank you to Lois. First, I'll announce our five awards of merit, which come with prize money of $100 each. Ruth Clegg for her acrylic on Duralar titled In the Pond, which is on view in Maxwell May's gallery. Eileen Horvitz for her untitled acrylic on paper, which is on view in Dodge House Gallery. Alana Obelanus for her lidded Reku vessel, which is on view in Dodge House Gallery. Nick Pechorek for his oil on canvas titled Together, which is on view in Maxwell May's Gallery. And finally, Clark Shuttle for his photograph titled Tiverton, which is on view in Dodge House Gallery. Next, four esteemed named awards with prize money of $400 each. First, the Bradford F. Swan Prize for oil painting. This goes to Birch Coffee for his oil on panel titled Peonies in Shadow, on view in Mary Castelnovo Gallery. Next, the David Aldrich Award for Watercolor. This award goes to Nancy Gosher Thomas for her watercolor on plate Bristol titled Silver Earring, which is on view in Dodge House Gallery. Next, the Jean Fain Award for Printmaking. This goes to Carol Hansen for her Provincetown line block print, Cocktail Hour, on view in Maxwell May's Gallery. Finally, the Marjorie Keard Award for Non-Traditional and Contemporary Work. This goes to Judy Skoogfors Prip for her stitchery and gold leaf titled Ascent, on view in Maxwell May's gallery. Now for our top four prizes, third place, second place, first place, and our best in show award. First, we'll announce our third place Antonio Serino award, which comes with prize money of $400. Third place goes to Patricia Allen for her acrylic on canvas titled Waiting for Spring on view in Dodge House Gallery. Next, our second place Rosa Peckham Award, which comes with prize money of $600. Second place goes to Carol Strauss Fitzsimons for her dry point engraving titled In the Time of COVID, on view in Maxwell May's Gallery. Next, our first place Edward Mitchell Bannister Award with prize money of $900. First place goes to Kevin Gilmore for his oil on canvas titled Lemniscuit on view in Mary Castelnovo Gallery. Finally, our best in show Providence Art Club prize with prize money of $1,000. And the winner is Nancy Whitcomb for her collage and encaustic on cradle board titled Young Father Drew His Mother on view in Maxwell May's gallery. Congratulations to all the artists who were recognized with prizes and thank you to all the artists who participated so enthusiastically in this exhibition. I do hope that you will come and visit this show in person through February 11th in our galleries at 11 Thomas Street 
on historic College Hill in Providence. Our gallery hours are weekdays from 12 to 4 p.m. or any other time by appointment. Our galleries are always free and open to the public. For more information about the Art Club, please visit our website at www.providenceartclub.org. Thank you for joining us.